And we're at the end of the runway, and I haven't got enough speed yet. Come on. <laughs> please, please, Chungus. <laughs> please. Oh my god, please. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, but we just managed to take off. Uh, just passing 500 kilometers an hour. 2,000 years later. Finally getting into 700 kilometers an hour. Six and a half hours later. And what do I do here? What can I do? I can't outturn this guy. I can't outrun this guy. I can't outclimb this guy. So what are my options? A few moments later. <laughs> yeah. Well, that worked. Sorry for that guy. Literally, <laughs> he had the same idea as me. You have to head on. We're gonna stick on this guy, though. I'm hoping I can catch him. Okay, we're doing gun rage. Come on. No, Chungus, no. Oh, please accelerate. See, look. We will go 900 kilometers an hour. It just takes an eternity to reach up to it. Here we go. We're in gun range now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but that's what the guns do. Wow. Hello people there, this is the Rube Revolution. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we are looking at a turd. A flying turd to be precise. If you've seen and in my recent live streams, you have seen me struggle, struggle relentlessly with the J-29A Tanan. This is a very hard aircraft to get to grips with, and I've really struggled to grind through this aircraft. It's up until this point, the uh, Swedish tech tree has been absolutely fantastic, apart from maybe the, the Mustang, but very good aircraft. And then you get to this thing, and it's just a massive, massive letdown, and there are quite a few a uh, number of ways and uh, to begin with we'll start off with uh, the engine performance is absolutely woeful in this thing this number here this 1015 kilometers an hour that is a myth that is an absolute myth the, the acceleration on this jet is so so bad and to the point that it, in most cases up to about 600 mile, uh, kilometers an hour i would say it's actually worse than say an me 262 is so so bad it takes like three minutes to get up to about 800 kilometers an hour this thing is powered by a ghost engine which is the same uh, engine as the de Havilland Venom uses but obviously it's in a big fat aircraft uh, like the Chunga so it is going to take uh, a lot of that uh, thrust to weight ratio uh, out of the aircraft and it is going to take such a long time uh, to accelerate. Uh, other problems with this aircraft include that it doesn't have a G suit either so you can't like say pull tight G turns compared to some of the other aircraft and the battle rating is a massive problem with this uh, jet as well because it sits at 8-0 this jet might as well be 8-7 because every game that I've ever played in this aircraft has either been 8.7 or 9.0 and I have played if we have a quick look at this I have played 95 games in this thing and every single one has been at least 8.7 and it's really, really impacted the performance of this aircraft. And it really, really needs to go down to 7.7, .7, where I think it'll be a lot more competitive. This aircraft as well, stock, is absolutely horrendous. To the point that it won't even sometimes accelerate off the runway in time. And I've actually crashed because I haven't had enough uh, speed to get off the runway before I run out. And I've actually crashed and it's been really embarrassing. But there's nothing I can do because the jet just doesn't accelerate. This thing's stock is <laughs> so bad. I can't iterate it enough how bad it is. But what are the good points with this jet? What are the good points about this aircraft? Well, it is armed with four 20mm cannons with 720 rounds. And they're the Swedish Aken M47C cannons. And they're very, very good. Very strong 20 mils. Very good at taking down enemy aircraft with lots of ammunition as well. It is a little bit weird with aiming this. 
on these uh, on this uh, on this jet because they sit quite low in the aircraft, so you do have to kind of sit, take that into account a little bit when you're taking the aiming. Uh, it also rolls really well, and it turns pretty well at high speeds, although it doesn't have the G suit, which does impact uh, the tighter turn radius, which can be uh, quite annoying. Above, like say, 600 kilometers an hour, the flight performance on this jet is actually okay. It's just getting up to those speeds, which really does impact it and make it such an absolutely uh, terrible aircraft. It doesn't also carry like missiles or anything like that, or any ground ordnance. It is literally just um, for air uh, targets uh, in this thing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take uh, this out. We're going to play a couple of different games. We're going to play this one, one of these uh, stock for the first game. And then for the second game, we're going to play it fully spaded out to see the differences between having this uh, brand new and when it's fully uh, kitted out with all the upgrades on it. So let's get going. Okay, welcome to Berlin for our first game. Hopefully I can accelerate enough to get off the end of the runway. This thing is so bad. And there's been instances where I've crashed because I haven't been able to get enough speed up. Look at the Seahawk. So much better acceleration than we are. Same battle rating. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it, Chungus. There we go. There we go. Let's get the gear wrap. It is so slow. Honestly, an ME262 accelerates quicker than this up to about 600 kilometers an hour. This jet is capable of getting to 800 kilometers an hour, but it just takes so long to get there. And it, especially stock like we are right now. It is so painful to play. The best way to play this thing though is literally on the deck, old school style. Get the speed up. If you do want to climb, once you get up to 700 kilometers an hour, then throw it into a climb. But for the most part, I find just staying on the deck is the best thing for it. Uh, still not got to 700 kilometers an hour yet. Nearly there. Nearly there. Once we get to 700, we'll turn in. Finally, it's at 700, but that's still not quick enough to take on these 8.7s, which we're up against. Not sure what's going to be best here, whether to turn in yet or to... Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there's an F-86 over here. Oh, there's actually two guys over here. Um, there's three of them. Okay, we're going to turn this way. I, do, I cannot take on it. Hold on. 1v1 in this thing is very hard to do, and I do not put the odds in my favour, even against like a 7.7 F80s-84G, I still think I'll probably lose. Really have to just wait for the targets of opportunity. Left is F80, is he going to head on me? Nope. Honestly, this is, this is the way to play it, you have to head on. And I hate heading on in jets. How's this guy gonna turn? He's turning, he's turning. Oh! Well, that worked. Sorry for that guy, literally. <laughs> he had the same idea as me. You have to head on. Well, lucky for that guy, we got the guns off first. And now this F 86 is chasing after me, and we have no support over this way. And I'm not gonna be able to outrun him. Where is the team at? Oh, cheeky. I mean, we could turn here. The jet does turn, like, astonishingly well. But it's limited by the G-suit. And then, once you do throw it into a turn... <laughs> okay. Well, at least we know how to actually turn. That's one way to get rid of an enemy aircraft. Yeah, once you do throw it into a turn... 
It leads to so much speed, and you do have to be careful of that. Whoa! There's another J29A. Could have had on him. I wasn't really paying attention. Mm, no, let's let's play a bit more smart now. We've got a kill. We've got the advantage. Ooh, we, can, we might head on this guy though. The guns though are absolutely fantastic. It's very good guns. Uh, okay, yeah, he's going way too quick. Haha, <laughs> my speed is better than yours there. I'm going to turn away from him, though. I think if you are stuck in this thing, the best thing to do is probably just attack round targets initially. Until you get some upgrades. It's, it's just so painful trying to take on enemy players. We can take off in this... F80 though. Is he coming at me? No, he's uh, going the other way. And this is where this jet is suited. Like this, in a skirmish. Oh, come on. There should have been more damage than that. Come here, F80. I'm surprised you didn't do any real damage to him. There's that Swift. I've got no chance against this Supermarine Swift. Another head, but no sauce. Need to be careful of my speed here. Not sure what damage I did to him. Ah. Have I done enough to put him down? No, nope, I have not. Combat flaps. Oh, come on. We've quit him several times now and not put him down. I think we can outturn an F-80, though. Or maybe not. Okay, we've lost too much speed now. Uh, oh, it took a bit of damage, but we're okay. And this is the problem. Once you start turning with it, you can't get that speed back up. Come on, get him, guys. There we go. Well done. And it's just... IL-28... And the F84G left now. Okay. The F84 has crashed. I guess we'll go try and hunt down the IL-28. Which we had crit earlier. Just have a yak on him though. This is going to take so long to get over there. Oh, and they both crashed into each other. Which means no kill assist for me. Never mind. This has been a very good main for me over this thing. Honestly, it's... It is a terrible plane, but... If I can get the guns to work, the guns are fantastic. So I guess that's... That's something. Okay, so this time the jet is fully speeded out. Hopefully that will mean we'll accelerate a little bit quicker this time. But it's still not going to be great. This is really not an 8.0 jet, and I really don't know what the fuck it's doing in this battle rating because it just gets shat on. It really does. This is just an XP pinata for the 8.7 premiums, etc. Uh, we'll do the same as before. This is just gonna go on the deck. Try and get the speed as quick as we can. I mean, I guess we're sort of keeping up with the fuel with the bombs on here, so I guess that's something. There we go. Finally, finally with a semi-decent speed. We're going to take on this fury over here because it's something which is slow. And not particularly move movable. Like us. What is this? That is an enemy Votar.
We're going to stick on this guy, though. I'm hoping I can catch him. Okay, we're in gun rage. Come on. No, Chungus, no. Oh, please accelerate. Oh, we're not going to catch him. Unless he's got bombs on. Uh, it looks like he does, actually. We might be able to catch him. Come on, J29A. You can do it. You can actually catch something. Come on. We're catching him. We're catching him. We're not catching him. See, look. It will go 900 kilometers an hour. It just takes an eternity to reach up to it. Here we go. We're in gun range now. Oh, <laughs> but that's what the guns do. Wow, that was uh, disgusting. I'm not going to be able to outrun the Sabre, though. And there's somebody else coming in. What can I do here? What can I do? I need to. I need a friendly. Help me. Is he broken off? Okay, he's broken off. I have a lot of speed here, so let's not waste all of it. M163 is sort of chasing me. And so is the MiG. Well, the MiG we're not going to have a chance of... I mean, what can I do here? I could probably outturn him. I mean, we are over the airfield right now. Come on, Chungus, you can do it. Come on, that should have been a hit. Come on, Chungus, do it. Yes! We got the assist, but I'll take it. The guns are the best thing about this thing, honestly. The guns are fantastic. That 17 was not using the best thing about the MiG-17, which is its acceleration. Why was he trying to turn fight with me? I don't know. Unfortunately, we've lost a lot of speed there. Let's try and get it back. Come on, Chungus. You can do it. We might be able to, we might get a B-57 here. Yeah, we might be able to get this guy. Well, we can definitely get this guy. He's got a lot of damage. I'm not sure what I did to him. I'm going to do a little bit of a stalk uh, climb here. Wing over. I mean, this is... When it works, that the jet actually gets a chance. It works very well. And this guy's going to go into the deck. But it's just getting to those speeds so you can do those maneuvers. In comparison, the J29F, which is the one with the afterburner, is absolutely fantastic, and I really do enjoy that one. I'm going to head on these. Now, what can we do here? The, the Javelin's the easier target for us. We are massively outnumbered, though, unfortunately, and I'm not sure... Ooh, okay. Well, that's complicated things. Where's our... Last friendly app. Oh, it's all the way over here. Okay. Um, what do I do here? I might go for a head-on. Might try my luck. If we don't succeed, we don't succeed. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, come on, my head. Okay, let's try and turn her. We have taken a lot of damage, though. I think that, I think this Saber's actually out of fuel. Yeah, I think he's out of fuel. And that Javelin's still flying. Let's actually put him down. Yeah, this Saber's out of fuel. Um, yeah, we're not going to land. Oh, the ME163 is on here as well. Running around ammo. Need to prevent the 163. Oh, hang on. Let's get the enemy 163. I know he's on the airfield, but right now I just need to deal with these enemies. No. Ooh. Okay. I think I did enough damage to him. I have 34 rounds left. Hmm. Interesting. No Emmys 163. You will not be able to land and repair. I will not allow it. And I'm out of rounds. And we're dead. But that was a good game. This thing really is so painful to play. I really did struggle speeding this out. or kind of losing my mind uh, for the most part when this thing, especially stock, it's absolutely horrendous. And that's why you have to like uh, commit to like cheap tactics like attacking that ME 163 on the runway in that last game or like attacking ground targets or committing to head-ons because that's the only way you can really get kills in this thing because it just can't compete with those 8.7 uh, 9.0 aircraft this thing it really does need to go down to set about a rating of 7.7 .7. i think 7.3 will probably be a little bit too low because of its top speed which is over 900 kilometers an hour will mean that it be able to outrun like a lot of other aircraft at that sort of battle range. But that is not an 8.0 aircraft in my eyes at all. In comparison though, the J29F, which is the 8.7 one, is absolutely fantastic. This one has the afterburner and it is really, really good. It can carry missiles as well and has the same like flat characteristics. Yeah, this one in comparison to the 8.0 one, really, really good aircraft, but you'd have to grind through this turd to be able to get down to it. And it's been an absolute struggle. So you need to watch out for this if you're grinding down to the top tier uh, Swedish uh, jets. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video looking at the J-29A. If you have this aircraft, please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on it because I really do think that it is a flying turd and it's absolutely awful at the battery rating that it's at. Hopefully soon I will have the Lantern and I will be able to take that out for a spin and be able to review it in a video. So looking forward to that. But for today, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff and I'll catch you all in the next one sometime soon. Bye!